Oh, scratchy. It's deep, man. It is way, way down there. Very far down there. Oh, it's rooty too. Oh, it's soft though. It's soft. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's some serious roots down there. These sequoia trees, man, are hard to get out. Stuff is it's hard to get stuff out of their roots. It's hot soil down there too, so my pinpointer probably won't hit anything. I'm hitting something down there. Oh, it's up here. Right in there. It's a roofing nail. Another roofing nail. Crazy! Crazy, crazy. This soil is so hot, man. It's hard to get a good ground balance in this stuff. It changes so much. My ground balance is too low. I need to raise it a little bit. The overload is here. Oh, it's junk. Right on the surface. Some uh, copper. Is that it? Yeah, that's copper. Copper wire right on the surface. I'm gonna eventually come through here and start digging up some of these low tones, but junk. Major overload. Major overload. What the heck, man? This pinpointer's hate in life. Not right there. Huh. Looks like it's part of a bell. No, it's not part, part of a bell. It's been sitting there for a long time, though. My other detectors missed it. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. Okay. <laughs> My other detectors missed this one too. Right here. I'm big time. This soil is hot, man. Ooh, sounds chunky now. It might have might have went on its edge though if it is a coin. I don't think it's a coin though. Usually coins don't make tones like that. Even if they're on their edge. But you never know. It's a crusty zinc penny. Just wasted beyond belief. Crusty man. It's a goner. Just a goner, man. Look at the shape of that thing, man. Look at that thing. Crazy. I wonder why my other machines weren't picking this stuff up, man. It's just, it, it baffles me, you know? Why, why some machines won't pick up mach uh, coins um, and others can, um, even if they're three inches deep, right? I know the Simplex is deep. I know the Amphibio is deep. I know the Equinox is deep. I know the Deus is deep. But why is the Deus picking up all these other coins? All these coins that I've been missing with my other detectors and all kinds of relics, right? I've taken this Deus to many different places where I've had my other detectors and it's just amazing. I'm actually getting more out of the ground with this machine than I was getting with my other machines and I beat those places up with my other machines, right? <laughs> this is junkie target, Can't, like a half a pull tab or something. <laughs> right there. A little bit part of a brush or something right there. I think that's it. Nope. 
such a low conductor that it's not barely picking it up. There is, I think a half pull tab right in here somewhere. Come on. Right here. It's a little bit of can flaw. Hasn't been in there for very long though. I don't know, uh, can slot or aluminum doesn't really corrode for a long time, so. Ah, let's go pee so bad. I right done. Coin. Right there. Can come right out. Coin. Right there. worn out man just white the edges are totally smooth man there's almost no weeded edge on it just baffles me it just baffles me man Ooh, ground balance I think what it is, is the reason why the dais is getting more stuff because I can swing faster and I can reject the, all the iron. Before, when I was getting those iron falses, I would investigate those iron falses. So I'd be spending that time and not be digging targets out, just investigating falses. With the dais, I just skip right over that stuff, right? Just skip right over it. So I have that much more time to get the goodies out. Sure, I am getting more trash out with the dais, but I'm getting a lot more coins, man. It's taken me several months to get this many coins um, with the dais, but today, pretty much the last couple of weeks, I've been just really in sync with the dais. And it's just amazing how many coins I've been getting in the ground, out of the ground that are shallower in the iron that my other machines were just totally rejecting. Because a lot of times, I. I wouldn't I would I would get it would get old investigating those targets with the dais the coins are just so freaking evident super more evident than any machine that I've ever had in the iron it's crazy just just absurd right and I can swing this machine around a lot faster the recovery speed the iron separation the the the, the weight of this coil here right and I can do this all day long just like this right not a problem. I could be swinging around this fast. A little bit of foil right there. Bink. Right there. Couple coins here, I think. Oh, come on dead right there there's one coin right there probably just one coin on the surface this soil is pretty hot this is how hot this soil is right here right you hear the ground balance I'm gonna scratch the soil a little bit here. Just scratch the soil. It's struggling on this one big time. I think there's a hot rock down there. Oh, rock, rocky soil, man. Rocky, rocky soil. Right there. Some more small jewelry. I'm sure hoping so. It's a pull tab. See that? There's a reason why my, my other machines were struggling in the soil because the ground is so hot and I can't tell that the ground is hot because it's not giving me a feedback on the ground, right? 
let me explain this a little bit here. With the dais, it's so sensitive to ground minerals that you're having to adjust your ground balance quite a bit, right? That's the one downfall about the dais. But you know that your ground balance is off because you are getting some ground signals, right? So you have to adjust it. But with the other machines, it's not telling you that your ground balance is off unless you lift your coil off the ground or unless you get just a little bit of falsing. With a dais, you have to have it right per really close. You know, if you have your ground balance off on your dais, you'll know. You will know because the machine will run really unstable. You'll get a lot of ground falsing. And that's the reason why I'm getting so much more stuff out of the ground because I'm having to adjust my ground balance as it needs to be changed. With my other machines, I would just go along and my machine would kind of act kind of weird, you know, and I didn't, I just didn't know that I had to re-ground balance my machine. But with my other machines, there's nowhere to ground balance the machine because there's so much iron and minerals in my soil and it changes so much. So, but with the dais, that threshold makes a huge difference, man. If you're in hot ground and you're running kind of hot to begin with and you have your ground balance off, which makes, you know, it's got triple the threat. Your threshold still can get you those targets. The, that, that threshold, you know, that wah, 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 wah. And then I'll adjust my ground balance, run it a little bit more stable, and then I can get the target out, you know. But I, I, I have turned this machine on for the last two or three weeks with the same settings, just deep pitch or deep full tones. Now I've been getting a lot out of the ground. Just an absolutely amazing machine um, in the iron, in spots that have been beat up, um, in clean ground, in hot soil. It does really good in hot soil, even though you have to push a lot of buttons. But I've been just getting so much more stuff out of the ground with the dais. Um, I just been hitting beat up spots and just plucking the stuff out. The videos will be out, man. They're gonna be pretty amazing. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.